Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim Enchantress here to do a timeline reading for you. It's your north and south node reading. <clears throat> so whenever you come to the channel is when you're meant to hear this message. Now, what is the south node? It's all about the past here, Cancer. It's uh, The south node is called Ketu. It's associated with both the baggage and the talents that you are born with and that you've carried into this lifetime from a previous one. So it's known as the um, the tale that we drag from past incarnation. And it carries both blessings and, and also the blockages that we're meant to deal with in order to grow in this life. It also represents our gifts, our potential that we come to the earth with, as well as your comfort zone and all your default settings. So often associated with karma from past life. Everything that you didn't choose in this lifetime, and it's your quirks and your in the limitations it's also challenges that you're destined to face and overcome <coughs> excuse me and the past that holds us back everything that keeps us glued as, uh, to the present it holds information about things we already know and possess and it's our spiritual safe zone so the south node is not a bad thing as it points to your blessings <coughs> excuse me abilities and Everything that you've inherited from previous lives. So however, it's not good either. It can really grow from a comfort zone. So we're going to take a look at the Lenormand cards that have fallen out for this. So we've got the sun, the fish, and we've got the lily. So we've got Leo and Gemini energy. I feel, you know, in you've you accomplished a lot in your past life incarnation. You had a lot of charisma. You were outgoing with high energy. You went with the flow here, Cancer, and you always looked for peace and harmony. You had high energy, fair or light-coloured hair, but you loved the attention. You were successful, you had a successful business near a, a river or a lake and this business was established so whatever the um, business was, people loved you, you loved the attention and you had a lot of charisma. So let's see, you brought that into this lifetime. Now the North Node is the opposite obviously, so it stands for the Rahu which is the light we are meant to follow in this life to create uh, something new, something better, better karma for ourselves. It's where we're meant to end up spiritually in this lifetime. So it is the place where our soul, our soul calls us to go. We feel these soul urges and, and the calling for a change. It's associated with your destiny, true purpose. It usually requires you to step out of your comfort zone though and do things differently. So it represents potential you are meant to achieve and your soul mission and where you are headed. It symbolizes the unknown, the future. Its blessings are yet to be discovered in this lifetime. But while the south node makes you comfortable, the north node is where your true growth lies. <clears throat> so it's also believed that it is in following your north node You'll find your true fulfillment and the key to a, a blissful uh, life. Life. So you know the North Node requires spiritual growth, self work, a lot of reflecting on past experiences to come to a point of true illumination. Now we have the letter. Sorry, I just put my sleeves out. Uh, the house and the clover. Sorry, guys, if you can't hear me that well, I've had COVID and it's just lingering on. So this is news about family. This is news about a house. It doesn't have to be blood relatives. It can be your chosen family. This house is very positive for you, Cancer. And I feel you're very uh, optimistic. You have a lot of luck at home. This could be positive news that's coming to you. It could be coming to you by messages, spirit messages, perhaps. You know, um, it could be 
positive news that's coming about success, you you know, um, business with family and finding that peace and harmony, finding your family that um, are aligned with your spiritual journey. Now, with the moon, I'm going to pop it up. I'll pop it up here, see if you can see it, Cancer. Just pop it up on your card. So the moon is all about cycles that um, pass through and its growth, its decline. The phases of the moon are seen as symbols as to guide your own personal growth and development. And the new moon, meaning when the moon is fully dark with, a lot, with no illumination from the sun, is very symbolic of a quiet time, the time before something begins. And you've got the clouds. So maybe you've been confused or depressed about something, you're having mood swings, and I'm feeling you're uncertain about fame in your life as you had luck in your previous incarnation. So, let's see. You know, I don't think you should worry, Cancer. Things are going to start improving. Like the clouds, they disperse. They're only temporary. But, you know, you could be in debt or having uncertainty about where your finances are coming from. Maybe your sex life is unsatisfactory or you want to have an affair or you're thinking of, of it. You're just confused. You may be receiving confusing messages in the home, which is making you feel uncomfortable. You know, you may have had some uncertain luck and feeling disappointed recently, but it's telling you not to worry. Now, I'm going to pull a card from the universe. Has your deck, uh, has your back, sorry, deck, and uh, see what's coming out for you. Then I'll pull a, another card from the goddesses, gods and guardians. Thank you. And then we'll do an angel number for you. Okay, so we've got the moment you embrace your peace within. Surrender the outcome is the moment the universe can truly get to work. So whatever you're confused about, it's about finding peace, just like you had in your past incarnation. Okay? So whatever it is that you're um, not trusting at the moment, surrender it to the universe, and then they can go to work behind the scenes. Now let's pull another card here. Goddesses and gods and guardians, what do you have for our beautiful Cancerians, please? Okay. Too many, but I'll take the top one. Okay. It's um, Sedna. There is always enough. So there's always enough to go around. There's always plenty here, like the fish. You've got the fish coming up twice here. Okay. So there's always enough. Let me just see. I'm going to read out of the book, give you some insights. Just bear with me, you cancer. Maybe it's telling you to investigate your beliefs about money because the fish represents money. Organize your finances. You know, uh, you've also got to um, contribute to charity. This is very deep emotions here. You know, um, be thankful for what you have. Prosperity is a stable mind. So, as I said with the um, clover, you could be depressed or going through mood swings. Start thinking positive here, Cancer, because the clouds will disperse. Now, Sedna is here to tell you to have respect and gratitude for natural resources. Work on your relationships with money. So, yep, yeah, it's definitely about money here. So, let's see. Um, Sedna's bringing this message to you about sustenance, gratitude, and the plentiful supply of everything that nourishes you. There's a never-ending flow of divine energy that creates all your practical provisions, money, water, food, 
shelter, air to breathe. The same universal wellspring delivers unseen nurturance such as support, kindness, time and love. And Sedna is saying, be thankful for every gift you receive, the supply of oxygen, your daily food and water, your home and clothing, kindness from a stranger, support from your loved ones. Balance and gratitude are everything in this lifetime. You must not hoard or be stingy. And I don't feel that you are like that, Cancer. But nor must you be wasteful or steal from life. Be honourable with money. Do your best to pay off your debts and create healthy budgets. You know, do you need to heal an ingrained fear or scarcity or invest in yourself more generously? Or are you being asked to spread your wealth and support those who have less than you? Give as much back as you take. And, you know, disrupt, disrupting the equilibrium is unwise and won't lead to happiness. Your needs are always met. So, you know, if people are helping you out financially, be sure to give back to find that balance in life. Okay, Cancer, <clears throat> added up all the Lenormand cards and it added up to angel number 128. <coughs> Excuse me for a second, I'll just get a sip. My drink. Okay, so what it means here is that beneficial period of growth and expansion is open up for you now. Okay, although it may not seem it, it's opening up. So whatever your current field of interest may be, whether you're involved in a career, raising a family, <coughs> or, excuse me, or getting an education of some kind, this 128 number brings opportunities for collaboration and expansion, which is going to bring you back success and abundance like in your past incarnation. So that's all I have for you, my beautiful Cancerians. I will see you again. This is a timeline reading, not meant for everybody, but when you do come to the channel, it's meant for you. Love to you all. Bye for now.